Welcome back to Microbiology Lab. My name is Kevin Tokoff. Please make sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel for future videos and notifications. In this video, we're going to do a really simple explanation of the capsule stain. We do not actually do this procedure, so I'm not going to be discussing any procedural aspects, just what a capsule is and then what to look for in the stain itself. All right, so what is a capsule? Now, some bacteria have a slimy layer outside of their cell wall. Okay. So this slimy layer allows these cells to stick to other cells, per, presumably cells of their own species, and other uh, surfaces such as metal. And this actually helps the bacteria survive and potentially evade immune defenses. Let me give you a good, a good example of this. Suppose you have somebody who has a hip replacement. So when you have a hip replacement, one of the ways that works is in the hip joint, what they'll actually do is, is replace some of the joint with metal. It's a little more complicated than that, but it turns out that if you have bacterial infiltration around that metal, the capsules of those bacteria can stick to the metal and you can essentially form very large colonies of these bacteria on the metal surface. And that helps them avoid immune defenses because they're strength in numbers. They stick to each other, they stick to the metal, and it can pose big problems. Okay, that's what a capsule does. Slimy layer around the cell wall that helps them stick to things. Okay, and when you're looking at the capsule stain under the microscope, you're actually looking for something that's not stained at all. The capsule stain is what we call a negative stain because the, the structure of interest, which is the capsule itself, actually doesn't have any stain to it. So when you look at these stains, you'll have background. The background is this kind of light pink that you see everywhere. Okay, that's the background, light pink. The actual bacteria are the dark purple. Okay, so anywhere we see this purple dot, these are going to be uh, the bacteria themselves. But what you notice in this image is that all of these cells, these bacteria where you see the purple dots, are surrounded by what we kind of call a halo. We call it a halo because it's just kind of a white, colorless area that surrounds the cell itself. That halo is the capsule. Okay, um, and it's a negative stain, again, because we're not actually staining the capsule, we're just staining everything else. And so the structure we're looking for is not colored, it's not stained. That's why it's a negative stain. Every other staining procedure that we've done, gram stain, acid fast, and endospore are all differential stains. This is our only negative stain. And so when you get presented with an image like this, you're going to basically be asked, either what this structure is, so I could point to the white area and say what is that, and of course you would have to name it as a capsule, or you could be given a micrograph image like this and it just says do these bacteria have capsules, yes or no, and you would know if they have capsules if all the bacteria have halos around them. And for this you are not required in our class to know any specific genera that actually produce capsules, but I will mention that the species we looked at under the microscope was Enterobacter cloacae. Right, So hopefully this gave you a good understanding of the capsule stain, at least what I required you to know for our lab. Please make sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel for future videos and notifications. Thank you.